your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by Wysocki Electric. As the weather turns nasty, make sure your home stays nice with a standby generator from Wysocki Electric. Visit WysockiElectric.com today to see how we can protect your home today. I've got good news and I've got bad news for you. The good news is things are getting better. We are certainly much better off than where we were over the weekend. Bad news is the upper low, it still continues to linger. So you're noticing that depending on your location, you've got clouds. Of course, the farther west you go, the better the opportunity for some brighter weather becomes, especially out over southeast Pennsylvania. So as long as that upper level low is in relative close proximity to the mid-Atlantic, we are still looking at the clouds. We're still looking at the chance of an isolated shower. I really don't think uh, most of you are going to have to deal with any wet weather, but it's on the table. And of course, we're also looking at those winds that are still coming in out of the northeast, gusts over 40 miles an hour. I think a little more random than where we were over the weekend, not as consistent, but the chance is certainly there. Winds are sustained at 15 to 25 miles an hour, but there's going to be hope on the horizon. By the end of the week, things get a lot better. We're looking at warmer temperatures, probably getting into the 70s, even around 80 degrees by the weekend. It's finally going to start feeling like May again. But like I said, the winds will continue to be an issue, especially right along the barrier islands. You go farther west and it's less of an issue. But as long as we keep these isobars relatively close together, you end up with that wind tunnel effect in the direction is out of the north and east. Gradually, the clouds, the showers, the unsettled weather, that dips down to the south. But I think it's going to take until mid to late week to break totally the winds all the way down. So for those of you asking, we still got a few days ahead of us to deal with that northeast wind. About 45 tonight, under partly cloudy skies, winds will start to relax a little bit, but then build back up a little bit, uh, especially at the beaches tomorrow. So 50 degrees, partly to mostly sunny skies. Then in the afternoon, about 64, dropping back down into the 50s and eventually the uh, 40s for your Tuesday night. Temperatures right now, about 65 in Marlton, 60 in Hamilton, 59 in Tom Zerber, 64 in Doylestown, 52 in the Atlantic City area. Big change coming our way. You know, we've had the, the cool weather out there. I believe we are going to start to see a nice warm up, but don't let that trick you into thinking that, oh, summer's going to be arriving because there's another bout of cool air. It looks like another upper level low could get to us by next week. So just have that in mind. In the near term, I find ourselves back in the 70s, lower 70s on Thursday, middle 70s on Friday, then around 80 degrees over the weekend. So that's good. Backyard barbecues, pool parties, all that kind of stuff. You'll finally be able to do with temperatures like that. You might need a pool heater though to get up to the point where it's going to be enjoyable. Have yourselves a great night.